Citigroup is to be cutting 20,000 jobs by 2026 because of latest financial losses. Guys, 20,000 jobs will be gone in the next 14 to 17 months. And Citigroup, they simply want to consolidate. They're shutting down offices. They're cutting employees. Severances are being handed out. And even J.P. Morgan Chase's CEO, Jamie Dimon, says there's a 35% chance of a full-blown recession. And of course, with high interest rates staying a little bit longer than expected and the higher chance of a recession, it's kind of a, not a big surprise for big banks to be cutting jobs, but especially Citigroup. Cutting 20,000 jobs is not a small amount. That's 10% of their entire workforce. And it's coming off as one of the worst quarterly financial results in more than a decade. And the earnings are disappointing and the earnings are not great. This could also be the reason of several other banks doing the same thing. Because if one big bank is doing bad, generally speaking, most of the other banks are doing fairly poorly too. Citigroup makes final round of layoffs at their Florida campus location. This Florida area is gonna be shutting down and the New York giant is cutting thousands and thousands of jobs. We're gonna be seeing a lot more of this happening because everyone thinks that the US economy is good. But in reality, US economy is decent at best and it's kind of declining. You could thank the feds for a high interest rate environment. And the feds have said numerous times they don't care if the economy is bad. They just want to get inflation under control. Latest and final phase of one of South Florida's largest banks by deposits will undergo a major labor reorganization at their office campus in Florida. And if you look at other companies like Schwab in the past several months have also done enormous layoffs. Schwab, in my opinion, is a lot smaller than Citibank, but even they are laying up to 2,000 employees. And Schwab is one of the biggest brokerage firms, not just in the US, but around the world. And they're also reducing massive amounts of San Francisco office real estates, like 211 Main Street. They basically abandoned most of this building and they're laying off 2,000 employees. Schwab says that this move will allow them to save $500 million per year, which is super duper impressive. And in five different cities, there's five different Schwab offices shutting down. They're merging more of their employees into more consolidating locations. At the end of the day, Schwab is like any other company. They wanna make more, save more, and try to survive a potential massive financial storm. And look at this, guys. Even Wells Fargo is doing the same exact thing. You guys feel like it's a Citigroup thing. You guys feel like it's a Schwab thing. And you guys feel like 20,000 employees being cut is because Citigroup just sucks. Well, in reality, a lot of banks aren't really doing so well. Like last year, Wells Fargo sold their San Francisco office tower at a $60 million loss. And even Wells Fargo is deciding to consolidate, selling expensive office prices at humongous losses to other people and laying off employees. Look at this, guys. Wells Fargo in the past few weeks announces another round of layoffs in October and November. They're firing more employees than ever before. Sure, it's only about 47 here and a few dozen here, but it really adds up as hundreds and hundreds of workers are constantly being on the layoff roster every single few weeks. And now the biggest bazooka in the room is going to be Citigroup. 20,000 jobs will be gone and several more will be affected. Now, the scary thing about this isn't just 20 jobs gone, but also these people who get laid off are most likely going to search for another banking slash financial job, which is very difficult to get. They're going to have to compete with other veterans that got laid off. They're going to have to compete with new college grads that just graduated. And right now, the job market is this, guys. I will tell you guys straight up. If you want a job under 30, 40K, it's very easy to find. If you want a job over $70,000, dollars it's a very difficult thing to do. And right now, everyone wants to get a good, decent, high-paying job. I mean, asking for a job over seventy k isn't even that wild. But nowadays, it's very, very difficult to get. 